the waving wheat. An old windmill set a tone of relaxation. The festival atmosphere says carefree, complete with a Ferris wheel and ticket booth. But then you notice the small boy backing away cautiously as a sinister sound builds in the air. We probably have right now, we probably have 2,000 snakes here, here in town. Many of them on display right outside in the... Uh, Call this just the big, I guess the big snake box is the best way to put it. Down below, eight-year-old Sarah very sweetly and clearly explaining what could happen to you if you get bit. Well, you'll die. Yeah, that about sums it up. And occasionally, it does happen. There was a guy, what, two years ago that died from complications of a snake bite, yes. His name was Joe Maddox. His picture on display right next to the rattler that killed him. A beast he had already caught out on a hunt with a friend and put into a box like this. The strike happened when he went to put another snake into the box while standing in front of it. And open the container this way. The thing you never do, you always open it from behind. He opened it this way and the snake got him right here, just like that, right into the femoral artery. I need all you guys that are going out on a hunt right out here in front of me, please. Despite that risk, every year people line up to go hunt them. This is the western diamondback rattlesnake. This is what y'all are going to be out there looking for. Before each expedition, there's a five-minute lecture on do's and definitely don'ts. You might want to catch him with his tail and pull him back to you where you can get to him with closer to his head where you can handle him. Of all the faces listening in the crowd that would soon be in a wide open field, none was as excited as Caleb. I really like rattlesnake hunting and I've been doing it since I was six or seven. Out here with his grandparents and little sister Gigi looking for some specimens. I do a show and tell with all the class and I love to hear all the kids, how'd you do that? Are you not scared of them? Nope. Look in this bush. This rock might have something under it. He is definitely not scared. This is the rock I was going for. Not of the creepy crawly under this rock. Oh, there's a little baby scorpion. Or the creepy crawly under that rock. <laughs> hey guys. This is a giant centipede. Nor is he afraid tickle him out of, of the tarantula he coaxed out of its hole. Their stingers are actually on their butt, kind of type area. That was a technical description, which will no doubt one day be used on his own television show. When I grow up, I'd love to be on Animal Planet or something naturistic. I don't know if that's an actual word. Just made it up. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was no inventing any rattler sightings while we were with him. Although... It may not be a rattlesnake. But uh, it's still a little prize. Kind of like a snake appetizer. Which brings us back to town and the Bite a Snake Cafe. A lot of people say it tastes like chicken. Okay, it tastes like chicken. Every year, this is my dream to come here and get me some snake. How is it prepared, you ask? Very simply, a hatchet. This is kind of like what you use for a chicken fried steak. Some flour, and then the deep fryer. Mm. And if they run out. When are y'all going to be doing another one? They just holler next door. Don't take long to do what I do. Where Robert Ray... Get me a little tape cutter. A.K.A. The Butcher. Go right down the center of that belly. ...is busy prepping the next meal. <laughs> removing heads with still flickering tongues. Them heads will bite 24 hours. And hearts that just don't know when to quit. Still beating. Take a licking and keep on ticking. It's an event that has spectators looking uneasy... Um. ...but not enough to look away especially if his granddaughter coaxes him to eat the gallbladder. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it now. Now? Yes. <laughs> the 47th annual Mangum Rattlesnake Derby. Guaranteed to put a tingle in your spine and then some. When you drink that snake blood, your old tongue kind of tingles. Bert Momolo. Got a little tingle to it. Tulsa's Channel 8.